They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. 117 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Sony Michelle with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Patriots go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Another attempt now from five yards further back. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off.
kick it away after the touchdown. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Throw left side complete to Chase. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Second down and three. Now it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Now Burrow on first down. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. First down, here's Burrow. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow over the middle. That's caught by Chase. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This one from 48 yards away. Blankenship's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? The wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. One second, all that remains. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And some room to maneuver. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll begin up at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. And in the second quarter, it's the Vikings who are out on top. Justin Jefferson, a touchdown reception. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to the Motor City to check on the Lions at home in Detroit. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Two touchdown passes there for the former MVP, Matt Ryan. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. Josh Allen, strong in the victory as his guys looked better than a team that had won just one game coming in. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. 
All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. with work to do in this third quarter, but they'll get the football first as we are back underway. Here comes the return from the very back of the end zone. And the Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And you know what I think the defense is saying back to them? Watch you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points too. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And that will be incomplete as well. Now, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Take it in at the 22. Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And that will come the offense as they take over. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. And with the day he's having as we look at... The Pats at the line, ready to go. Yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and twelve. out and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time and you can see the head coach he is not happy everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time
Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. carry for Michelle on second down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 155 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back.
On the handoff, it's Michelle. And he's going to be stopped short of a first down as he'll get to him at about the 33. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to try and throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So nursing a slim lead, and that is the opposite of protecting that slim lead. All I can think here is that head coach, he knows more about what's going on with his team than we do. He must know something's up. Either he has trouble with his punter, right? He's, he's worried about his defense. There's an explanation in there that we're going to ask for after the game, because in this situation, I wouldn't have done that in, in normal circumstances, but maybe he thought my best opportunity is with my offense. Yeah, interesting. Back in their own territory. Now we'll see what transpires. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Four yards remain for second down. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. They're losing here in the third quarter, maybe trying to get the ball outside, bust a big play. Obviously didn't work there. Yeah, and while it didn't work, it, I really can't fault them for trying it. You and I have talked to the offensive coordinator, and we knew that, that was a place they wanted to try and go. And sometimes you just have to stick with it because two-yard gains turn into 20-yard gains as the game goes along. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. Blankenship's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. You'll be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not, Either the, not way. the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps, and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down with a nice little gain. 165 yards rushing for him so far in this one as he nears 1,400 for the year. Another carry for Michelle on second down. It's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A give. This is Michelle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? That 
is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Michelle, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On the ground is Michelle. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. They'll run on first down. Michelle. And the tackle there by Jermaine Pratt. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. And Michelle will have the first down and more. And finally down at the nine-yard line. like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon, and right now they're almost lifeless. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal now as they look for that final touchdown to salt this one away. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Sony Michelle. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Gonzalez to add the PAT. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off. Kick it away after the touchdown. Sutton now to return. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 
So Burrow and the Bengals down by 11, a minute 52 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it here twice here late to have a chance. To throw Burrow. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Burrow. And incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing, Burrow. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there. You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. On first down, Michelle. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Michelle once again. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeout.
yards. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Looks like he'll throw here. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. snap away in time. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Now Jones. That's going to wind up incomplete. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Throwing Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Bengals are right back in this football game. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. That's pretty difficult to summon up offense in a two-minute drill when your guys are struggling to put points on the board all afternoon. There's an incompletion right there. A final shot now for Burrow. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game. But when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So for New England, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to six and three on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Packers will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, the turnaround hasn't materialized as they fall to two and seven. And they'll try to.
today from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's week 11 of the NFL on EA Sports. Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. The numbers a week ago for Michelle, just downright unbelievable. I mean, when you amass that many yards, I don't know what else to say. Personally, I thought it was a game for the ages for him. Ripped off some long runs in that contest, didn't he? He did indeed. Some very long runs in that total. Scary. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Michelle. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. How about that run? Picks up a first down. Note the enthusiasm in my boys. Remember, last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I think he's trying to get another one in full. And you talked watching film a lot about his form and just hitting the hole, running north and south, as we like to say. And I, I think he's been doing that a lot recently. Squaring those shoulders and getting downhill. They'll run on first down. Michelle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They did tell us they wanted to establish a ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. And he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. And after his performance last week, everybody saw it unbelievable. You can expect a heavy dose of him again, I think. Without a doubt. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because once you establish yourself that way, it's not just him, okay? It's his offensive line, it's the tight end, it's your wide receivers, everyone now sharing in the load and sharing in the belief that if they do their job, they'll see another performance just like they saw the week before. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. 
They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. On third down, Michelle. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. On first down, Michelle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 55 rushing yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all this stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's bound the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Sony Michelle, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Patriots are going to line up to go for two here. They'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, they had that great, long, methodical drive to put it in the end zone. Then they tried to bite off a little more and get eight points. Instead, they're sitting at six. But didn't that feel like a decision that they made on Tuesday. Yeah. You well, know, you usually say the that's what they do, right? Right. That, that's the best one. The best ones do that. They take the emotion out of it. That felt like that was scripted. Hey, if we score in the opening drive, we're going to go for two and try and really gain an advantage. Taken in at the three. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. It's time to see the offense for Green Bay go to work. Aaron Rodgers leading them. What a career it's been. Came into the league back in 2005 as the number 24 pick out of Cal. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at about the 32. And now here's Switzer the target, and he's got it. Seven yards, the pick up there. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. <laughs> for it with Jones and he brings this up to the 46 good enough for the first Brandon what were they thinking on defense there that looked like they were playing for the pass that was third and short yeah it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him that was way too easy just looked like absolute confusion defensively not sure why they were in that set yeah I'd say you should have a few men in the box there Jones running on first down, but finding it pretty tough going as he'll get forward for only about three there before he's taken down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing is Rodgers. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. 
They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Into a double team and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. They'll run on first down. Michelle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the ground, this is Michelle. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine. They'll run it. This is Michelle. He can't get him down. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 13 yards rushing for him now to this point. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and he, anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yeah. Back side guys, Man. That, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable gain. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Michelle. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Sony Michelle with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack, and you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line, and he's able to take it into the end zone. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And he's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. So that drive, four plays. And it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off. Kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they currently sit one game over 500 thanks to their victory a week ago. Yeah, Charles, they've been really an up-and-down team all year. Do you think that they have enough to get into the playoffs? Well, you did mention that they've been up and down all year, so to me, it depends on what week you catch them. When they're at their best, I think they're definitely playoff worthy. But to me, they haven't been able to bring the intensity week in and week out, and that could be their Achilles heel. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Now Rodgers, able to find Switzer. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 
Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter, and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now a draw play. This is Jones, and he is going to have a Packers first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Throwing again on second and ten. Rodgers over the middle, and it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here at ten, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks. But you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. So now the Packers turn things over to the special teams crew. They're on for the field goal try. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And this one is right through. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. Now maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least they have something to quote-unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. And he's found the end zone twice, and now... I with a first down as they begin the drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. There's Jones throwing on first down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Jones now on first and 10. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Jones, a final shot before break. He's going to take another shot here. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off at the 11, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime.
The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And the half will begin with a touchback. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting more pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that will be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are the Patriots to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Sony Michelle, 65 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. He just yanked that one well to the left, and no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. You know, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A nine-yard pickup, just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. 
Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. disappointing when you miss a field goal but when you're playing against a defense this good you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there you've got to take them when you can this drive starts out on the ground with Michelle and this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory 190 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he continues to put a hurt on this defense the previous run good for nine here's second and a yard Again, it's Michelle. He won't go down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And he's got Rome. Still shedding tackles. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Sony Michelle. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots add on to their lead. So that CD, that was impressive. He got out of three, maybe four tackles there on his way to the end zone. And a lot of times when you break a tackle, slip a tackle, it actually slows you down. That's what we were taught. If you don't make the play, make him stop his feet so someone else can get there and tackle him. But not here. He just kept right on going. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 23. A drive there of just four plays, and it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? 
And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Packers on third down, three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and three. Now it's Rodgers, and that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. And he fires one that's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball. All the way in. Touchdown, New England. Sony Michelle, 38 yards. And the Patriots are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. Boy, missed tackles continuing to plague this defense, and they surrender another big play and a touchdown here. Yeah, by my count, at least two guys had shots at it, maybe even more than that. But this defense, they've looked out of sorts all game long. That was definitely not one of their better efforts right there. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT, and the lead will swell by one more. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. To throw again on second down. Rodgers, open man, Amari Rodgers complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And a throw there gonna be incomplete. Misses yet again, and 
the struggles here, they look pretty uncharacteristic for him. You're certainly right about that. Mechanics are the key right now. Feet, arm, not in sync at all. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded right around the eight. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Jones with a first down carry, and he's going to wind up losing a couple as he stopped behind the line. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Rodgers. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, Rodgers. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. And he's got this down to the 35. Rodgers now on first down. Throw left side taken in by Rodgers. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots are going to get the football back at their own 17. CD, this defense, man, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass.
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Yeah, they're going to try to eat some clock with Michelle. And yeah, they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll keep it on the ground. Michelle still going. And some room to run now. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play there for the Patriots. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. On the handoff, it's Michelle. Fights loose. Still staying on his feet. Are you serious? And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Patriots, they keep pace for a playoff spot as they move to seven and three. And now they'll get the short week as they get set to play at Detroit on Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, for the Packers, it's a loss that'll drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.